what, I've, uh, what I'm working on today is we've got a masking unit bulb that uh, has come separated from the terminal. I don't have the terminals to replace it, but we're going to go ahead and repair it anyway. Just extract the bulb out of it. There's a little push plate on the inside. If you have something like a pick or anything, all you got to do is uh, there's, there's two catch tabs. I know this is not going to be a very good video for close-ups, but there's two catch tabs on the inside. If you push one side down farther than the other, it automatically brings the other side kind of up and out. And then you can just pick it to one side and it usually comes up. There it is. And once it's free, you can feed whatever wires you have left to get it out. Go ahead and just keep the spring in the housing. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut the button off the terminal. Some regular nippers, I'm trying to just extract it. I'm going to cut as close as I can, then pull the top button out. So just a hole straight through there. Hopefully you can see it through some of the light. I've got my soldering iron already heated up. I'm going to pull some of this wire out just by holding on to it with pliers and going down the insulation a little bit. Solder here. See if I can get something just to hold this for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put solder just I'm going to solder just on these wires so that it will bond better. All right, so I've, I put solder on those wires. Yeah, it's a, it's all it's almost like a straight wire, a solid wire now. But, so now I'm gonna touch tips of this solder to the iron to try and heat up a drop on the iron. Now I'm gonna touch that drop to the top of this uh, wire that I've got the solder on to bind them. Just like that, I put a drop on. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Try another good time. Just like so. So as you can see, I've got a, a, a ball of solder basically on there. You can use your iron. If you point it downhill, a lot, a lot more solder shouldn't go up in the wire itself. I'm trying not to take it off. I'm just trying to shape it a little. I want it to be a drop that's right on the end of the wire. There you go. So now I've created basically a ball on the end of the wire which is going to create the terminal that we've lost. Then you can just take a, a small file and you can you want to try to the on the bottom of your bulb there's little dimples or insets it's concave so or it goes basically like that on the the edge of these uh, connections so I want to make sure that this is kind of rounded convex to go into those so take you a small file and just work your way around it and you're actually creating a button If you looked at some of these masking unit replacement LED bulb uh, setups, assemblies, they're not too cheap. They're quite pricey. And time takes them getting here and shipping. So I'm just going to go ahead and create my own, try and get this masking unit back and up again. So you know, even if your wire completely failed, just get a whole new wire. All right, and I marked this one just because I want to make sure that I knew which one I disconnected it from. I want to put it back together the proper, the same way I took it apart. So this one was connected to my green 
my green wire of the masking unit. I believe this is the ball number two light. Now I'm going to split a little bit away from this back end so I can get something to grab a hold of. going to strip a little bit of the wire away. Nothing under that part. Now I've got the wire exposed. I'm going to grab it with some pliers and I'm going to feed it down a little towards the end. I want to leave about an eighth of an inch gap there because I want to put it through the plate. I'll kind of show you now. I'm going to put it through this plate, pull it clear up to the, the bead that's going to make the connection there. And now I want to pull the sleeve up to the base of that plate so it'll hold it in tight. There you go, that's one. Go ahead and mark it again so I keep track of which one it is. All right, and uh, since I'm, I'm repairing it anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do both of them at the same time. I don't wanna pull this out a week from now and have it still giving me issues. Just cut the wires, cut the terminal, Go through the same steps. There's something to hold your wire up for you. Eat it from the back side and let the solder draw through the, the wire. Some beads get on the end of this solder iron. And just touch it to the wire till it binds. There's one drop. drops. So I try just a little bit more of a third. There we go. Now I'm going to shape it again. While I'm holding it down. Trying not to lose the bead off this wire.
Not one of my better ones, but. It'll do the trick. Shut the iron off. Now that it's cool enough, I can start shaping it a little. Okay, and I'll go ahead and slide this one back through the plate. insulation off so I can see the wire to pull the tension back up. back to the top. There we go. Now next thing you want to check is that both of these buttons that you basically created for the, bot, the bulb, you'll make sure that they're flat and even because if one stick higher than the other, it might keep the other one from making contact, so you take your small file and level them off. So we've recreated our terminals. You can just drop everything back into the housing. Remember your plate has two tabs on it. Be sure that you uh, insert the tabs properly. If you put one side in first, it tends to, it'll, it'll drop, same as you took it out, it'll drop right into place. Springs binding me a little here. I got a pick to help draw that down. It's harder to get back in than it is to get it out, so. fighting me for some reason. Got 
one side in at least. There's the other side. Took a little bit, but uh, got it to line back up. This bulb should just depress on the two solder points and lock in. Alright, so that's how you repair that bulb. I'm going to go put it back in my masking unit.